All right, so we have this 3D printer. Uh, it's an SV01 Pro from Sovo. And yeah, I already opened up the box, but I haven't pulled out anything yet. So let's see what's inside the box. All right, so it's the manual. Uh, it's mostly black and white. There's some blue in there for highlights. So, oh, actually, no, it is colored. But yeah, it tells you how to assemble it. Um, so, we'll do that as well. Ah, okay. So, what's in the box here? Oh. Uh, some hardware, like cable, some tools, zip ties. Check that out in a bit. What else? Oh, we have a spool here of how big is this? PLA, 200 grams, which is good. Um, I haven't ordered mine yet. Uh, should do that. Here's the display control. Let's put that aside. Okay. It's called the gantry. Uh, it's kind of tricky. Oh, here. Can't remember. I don't know what this is called, but yeah, this is where you hang the filament. Um, okay, it's gonna be interesting. All right, so this is what's in the package plus the manual here. Uh, in the smaller box, what we have is power cable. Nothing special about this. Uh, we got some tools, uh, various uh, wrenches, and a screwdriver. So even if you don't have tools, you could use theirs. Uh, zip ties and I guess like screw cover, whatever this thing is. Yeah. Uh, what is this? A needle, and I'm not sure what that is, but yeah, that's that. Some bolts, yeah. So the spatula, I guess, is that what it's called? <laughs> yeah, it is a spatula. Oh. Some nippers. Yeah, they're, it's actually not a bad quality pair of uh, nippers. That's good. Uh, and finally, uh, the SD card, eight gig SD card from NetTech. What is this? How's oh, a USB SD card adapter? All right. Yeah, so let's put it together. All right, so switch it on. <laughs> cool. So What should we do next? Alright, so let's do a quick measure of the footprint of this thing. Okay, so it's about 17 inches wide, not including some of the stuff that's protruding on either side. Uh, that wise. Yeah, it's about 18 inches deep. 
so okay that's a decent size but manageable oh, by the way to uh, level this thing is pretty pretty simple um, and easy to do so you just click on leveling in the main screen and then it will center itself and then it will go down onto the um, base and then what is it doing it goes up and down a couple times or so. Now um, you can use a piece of paper as suggested and you can raise it up and down up to a point where it's barely um, scratching the piece of paper and then once you do that you hit save and then you use aux leveling and then you can choose like uh, the corners here and it will move it to one corner and then you do you do the paper test again and if it's too too high or too low you turn the knobs uh up to a point where it's barely dragging uh the piece of paper and then you do that for each corner uh for me, I had to do that like three times just to get everything pretty evenly across the uh, four corners. And then once you've done that, you just hit save and then you can use the auto leveling function. Uh, and then that that's just all automated and it will do uh, 16 points. Uh, this thing takes quite a bit of time. So, all right, so I finished preheating. So what we're gonna do now is just load the uh, filament into the extruder. Okay, the filament is coming out of the nozzle now, so I'm taking it good. All right, so let's, let's do a test print of the, well, the 3D Benchy. How long is it going to take? So apparently this is going to take more than 2 hours, actually almost 3 hours, 2 hours and 40, 43 minutes, so uh, I guess I'll do a time lapse. So it's pretty much done. It's less than one minute left and as you can see here uh, it's been printing for an hour and 25 minutes much lower than the initial estimate time estimate that is uh, also shows that it has consumed about 47 millimeters of filament it's actually not as much as I thought well, it, and, and to tell you the truth, this is my first printer, my first printout, and uh, yeah, so can't wait for it to finish, which should be done now. There you go. So here's the uh, 3D Benchy uh, from the Civil S V Zero Pro. Looks pretty good. I'm not sure what this thing is, uh, but yeah, the overall shape of uh, the hole here looks how it's supposed to be. 
It's not completely smooth, obviously, but that's to be expensive. No, I mean, ex expected. Um, I don't see like overhangs that much. I mean, there's very small amount there, but you can barely see it. But yeah, and you know, you can see the details of. Uh, I think it's supposed to be like wooden planks or yeah the texture on the roof as well they look pretty circular so that's pretty nice yeah the arch here looks pretty clean there's some bits of overhangs there but nothing too bad but overall, it looks pretty good. Quite happy with the results here. Although that's it, I'm you know it's it's not like I have another three D printer to compare this to. But yeah, I've seen worse <laughs> of this thing yeah, on on the net. So yeah, um, yeah, I can't really give it a full review yet. Uh, this is the f one thing I printed. Uh, I give it a few more prints. And but yeah, so yeah, it looks like it's gonna be fun. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching.